I just wanted to make a quick video for you on how to set up your lab for Snell's Law uh, since it's a little bit harder to explain than it is to just show. So you have this compass with all the angles marked out so you won't need a separate protractor. Start by taking your acrylic block and placing it exactly on the center line here. We're going to be taking measurements of light rays uh, coming in from either direction really doesn't matter but from the top here passing through this block and then passing out down here on the bottom and what we want to be able to do is measure how different the angle incoming versus outgoing what we call the incident ray versus the refracted ray uh, to start we're going to use a couple of pins to represent an incoming ray of light and you can really set these anywhere you want uh, within a certain range if you go too far outside towards the edges here uh, your light ray is going to come off the side and you won't be able to see it. So uh, stick with some small angles to begin with. I'm going to begin by placing a pin right here at 30 degrees. That represents the start of a ray that's coming in and striking. I'm going to put this right at the center to make the measurements easy. So this right now is a ray of light coming in like this. To see where it passes out here on the block, you need to look through the acrylic block at the two pins that you've just placed. Starting with your head here, you can see that there are two different pins side by side. And as I move my perspective, I can start to see them getting closer together until they reach a point right about here where they're lined up uh, right here in the middle of the block. Ignore everything up here. It's these two pins you want lined up. So I'm gonna take a third pin and I'm going to place it right in line with the other two. This is the place where the light is actually coming out of the block. At this point, you can remove the block. Hopefully you won't knock over your pin. Like I did. You can remove the block and draw in your lines from here to here, and then from here out to the third block. So this is your incoming ray, your incident ray is like 30 degrees here, and then your refracted ray measured from the center line uh, looks like for me is about 18 degrees, but you can measure that much more carefully on your actual protractor. You're going to repeat that with five total rays uh, somewhere up in these center regions here. Uh, and then you'll complete the lab calculations.